Hi, my name is James, and I am a digital services manager for a nonprofit. Um, we switched from Dropbox Business to Google. Uh, and for more reviews like this, click below. One of the biggest things that we were trying to solve uh, with these products uh, and these types of products is really team collaboration. Uh, that meant things like document sharing, uh, also joint editing was huge for us and trying to figure these things out. Uh, part of our nonprofit is a lot of writing. And so uh, in order to uh, figure out how to collaborate best in a world where, uh, especially for the last year and a half, two years, has been uh, largely uh, remote work and still trying to keep everything going. Uh, collaboration was huge and so we needed to be able to manage files we needed to be able to share those files with one another with ease we needed to be able to communicate well uh, mark up each other's documents these sort of things and so that that's the that's the problem we were looking to solve Dropbox business is best for uh, in, in our usage uh, for sure it was best for file management uh, when when trying to have a place where everyone can keep files update the same file um, and and keep on the same page that was probably one of the best ways that we utilized that for uh, and found it most useful google drive ended up being the uh, just a collaborative place where we were able to put our files um, but specifically also move into creating documents that we were able to edit uh, live time with one another in a very easy way uh, as we were working in different offices and so that that enabled us to uh, have a different level of teamwork uh, within the same file system uh, and so that's that's the biggest use for Google Drive so whether you're talking about Dropbox business or Google Drive we felt like the onboarding process was pretty smooth um, there's a fair amount of documentation for both of them uh, there, however, seemed to be an ease of use as related to uh, Drive, Google Drive specifically, um, and that may have just been from the history of using Gmail and, and knowing that for just Google being around for so long and, and being integrated into a lot of different facets of life in general. So the ecosystem was already there really easy. Um, but in general, trying to get everybody on and trained and on that for both of those was fairly easy. A feature set's always huge when you're looking to, to really narrow down what you're going to choose in the long run. Um, having a long-term vision, which means uh, the evolution of the product itself, is it actually getting better? Is it improving? Is it growing? Uh, what's the plan, the road, the roadmap for the product itself? These are huge, uh, but you know we're a nonprofit, and uh, everyone is is super price minded as it is. So oftentimes it does come down to what do we get for what do we pay, uh, and they both have models that are based on per person or, or per user, uh, and so it just it comes down to the features of that. So if if we have a team of, of thirty and we're trying to get everyone integrated into this, what's what's the overall cost going to be? Uh, so price is huge. Uh, that's one of the biggest things. Um, past that, like I mentioned, you know, is this product going to be scalable with us uh, or is there going to be a cap at which it's going to actually start to hinder our growth? And so having a long-term vision as well as that short-term price uh, consideration were, were two of the biggest things uh, as we looked at these products.